Good morning, cows. Right over here. Thank you. This way. Look, I got food. Come on, follow me. All down into the cave. Come on, come along. No stragglers. Come on. Yes. All right. Let's get these babies into the cow cooker. Oh, really? You you can stand on that. That's the thing you're going to do, huh? Oh, perfect. Okay. Oh my God. No, 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 no. They're getting up. Come on. Get, get, get out. Get out. Get off. Oh my. All right. You get out of there. Go on. Go on. Or, you know, fall down. That's, that's, that's good. All right. Let's try that again. You. In you go. Number two. That is number three. So what if I just hold this in my hand while I push you, huh? That's number five. Okay, we ha we need a number six now. Come on. Come along. Come on. There we go. That's number eight. Now you, I apologize, but you were too much. Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft with me, Double Zone. Now before I start this episode I wanted to give a shout out to a friend of mine. Uh, her name is Shea. She started Minecraft Let's Plays around the same time as I did and I for one enjoy watching her videos. So I will leave a link to her channel in the description or you know in the upper right of the screen uh, on YouTube. So you should check her out as well if you enjoy Minecraft content. Now let's get to it. As you could see I brought the cows over but it's not really doing a lot is it? <laughs> I brought eight cows over, I bred them all so I should have four baby cows down there. But that's not the case is it? So I'm Pretty sad to see that this cow cooker doesn't work anymore. But oh well, I will just have to find a, a different one, an updated one that will work during this uh, 1.16 update because that's where we're at. We're at 1.16 now. So the nether update has been launched and I'm actually <laughs> really anxious, really, really excited to start that uh, adventure. But first I am going to pretty to blaze up a bit. Now don't forget number th uh, rule number three of Minecraft. Form follows function. So before we start prettying the place up, we have to make sure that this place does everything we need it to do. So that means a working cow farm, a working pig farm, and a working chicken farm. And then we can actually start prettying this place up. So while bringing the cows down, I actually had to sacrifice one of them, because else there would have been nine cows in there, and that just wouldn't have worked. That gave me enough leather to make an extra two books, so I have three books now. And that means we can get an extra bookshelf. There and there. All right, perfect. Let's bring this baby in. There we go. Let's see what level can we manage now. 26 still, huh? Hmm. Alright, alright, I guess we will need one more then. Okay, so for prettying the place up just a little bit, because as I said, form follows function, I prepared a little bit of materials. It's not a lot, but you know, it's logs, wood, and some leaves, uh, which can get me going already. The, the only thing I regret is that I don't have any dark wood because, or spruce uh, for the matter, because I think that makes for some very pretty blocks. But you know, we'll make do. As I said, I can't do the entire base just yet because. I still need to add farms and then I can start 
prettying up around the farms. But for now, uh, oh, let's let let's first do something that I thought would be better here. And it's the, whoa, okay. That is to not fall down. Hang on, let me first. And this is why you fill up your holes, people. That is why you fill up your holes. Place wood over there. Yeah, that's 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 better, much better. Like so. And place a trap door above it. There, now we have lighting here in the front. Another lantern. There we go. Oh, I actually need one. There, much better. Now we can get rid of this torch. Perfect. And we can always use these barrels to store the lapis and books and whatever you need. Composter down there. Wooden log. There. So now we create a, a depth of field against this wall and against this wall as well. There. And there. And there. Then the slabs. That should do it, right? Yes, that should be good. Look at that. I'm trying things out here, by the way. I'm not really big on building. I'm just trying things out here to see how they look. So what if I take this and extend it over there? And then I actually have a reason to... Let's see, that's one, two, uh, three, but only one, two. So, in a perfect world, I would have to do this. And in a perfect world, I wouldn't stumble upon that. We can do that, right? Just lower it. I mean, it looks well supported now. Oh, it's fine for now. Let's see. This is uh, well in the middle. Okay, perfect. Let's knock this out. All right. And if I remove this, yes, that is directly behind the base. Okay. I mean, directly behind the enchanting station. Can I remove this? Yes, I can. Of course I can. Uh, place a lantern quickly, just to avoid any spawns. Yeah, I think that looks uh, that looks okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, I mean, it's a bit closed in because of the walls here, but I didn't really have any other options because I'm stuck with this as well. I'm probably going to make the library 
this part right here in about the same style. Oh my god, chicken, don't do that. Chicken. That chicken really is suicidal, isn't it? Ha! Huh. I think after this I'm going to start on the chicken coop just so this one doesn't run off and kill itself. Uh, maybe a stairs motion wouldn't be too bad. Or did I plan this? Grab the water, put it in, close this off first. Okay, more water. Could always make more buckets so I don't have to run around the entire time. It's just three times. Oh, there we go. Yes, perfect. Hmm. I'm not that opposed to this stair motion I have going on right now either. Like so. What if I do this? Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm going to leave it that way. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's see. As for this side of the wall... Well, that's a piece of art, isn't it? Anyways, I'll worry about that wall later. Uh, <laughs> I have another wall here that I need to worry about as well. But I am going to leave that for another time. Right now, I am more concerned. Well, right now I'm going to focus on making the chicken coop. I'm just going to use up my leaf blocks here to cover up the ceiling. So I am going to remove this. Rip tree, you made it to like, I don't know, with five episodes? My diamond pick is about to break. I've done a lot of digging with this thing. Wow. Well, there it goes. Good thing I made another one. <laughs> Just going to continue digging. Alright, so that's the front of it. I am going to break out this as well. Just make a bit more room in this farm area. I mean, the cows are going to come here, the pigs are going to be uh, put here as well. So I am going to need a lot more space down here. Okay, so while digging out all that stone, I came to the conclusion that I really need an enchanted pickaxe. <laughs> oh, it's, it's still, still with a diamond pickaxe, it's taking so long. So I'm going to go check outside if I have some cows out there. Uh, did I bring wheat? No, I did not. Is it in? Yes, it's in here. All right. And there we go. Uh, I'm going to... Oh no, I need a couple of these, actually. I'm going to trap the cows, make sure I have at least two so I can start anew. And then I will sacrifice these so I have the leather I need to make the rest of the books. So I can finish that enchanting station, because really it's starting to get annoying now. Okay, so no cows out here, huh? Well, that makes things a bit more... Well, more difficult. Five. I hope that's enough, I'm not sure. Let's see, so my pickaxe, that is efficiency 4, let's see if we can get something good. Enchanter, just efficient efficiency 4, huh? Okay, 
Oh, that's much better. Look at that go. Wow, I really should have done this a lot sooner. Come on. Break, break. Well, that sped things up quite a bit. Now, these are going to be used in the chicken coop as a floor. All right, and that leaves us with plenty of space to take care of a cow farm and a pig farm. Now, you may be wondering what happened to form follows function, right? <laughs> because I'm clearly just minding the form right now. But that's because I have an idea. I already worked it out in my mind and it really should work, so... It should be fine. It definitely should be fine. There we go, automatic chicken farm done. Looks amazing, right? I'm just kidding by the way, it's, <laughs> it's definitely not done. No, um, this is the form. I'm going to have a couple of chickens right here. Uh, I may change it up a bit still, I'm not sure about that just yet, but um, well, I'm definitely going to change this, should not lock right there, right? Yeah, but um, no, I'm going to hook up a chicken cooker right here. So this will be the automatic chicken farm slash cooker the drops and everything will be funneled right here towards a chest that will be standing right here. But on the outside it will look just like a chicken coop with a chest that holds all the goodies. So that's the idea, that's what I'm going to be building. Oh yeah, that's, that's a lot better. <laughs> Come along right this way look it's your new home you're safe here okay stay stay oh also yes I did put up some uh, wooden logs here because that's I, I have a small idea with this area as well and that's for later And that's how you do it. You see, you start off with one, but you make sure you have some other chickens as well, so you can keep throwing in the eggs. The second you have two chickens, you can just start breeding them by using the wheat seeds. And for some reason, my carpet over there disappeared. I have no idea where it went. Ha! Huh. Anyways, I will quickly show you... Yes, made it how it works. So this is the actual coop. So this is where I am keeping chicken, the original one. Well, I'm not sure it's the original one because I actually had to um, shoot a couple of them because there were too many. But I'm going to go with the fact that it's chicken and it's two children. You know, the original three chickens. And then behind here, which I'm going to cover up still, is the chicken cooker. So the chickens are all stuck there on top of hoppers and they lay eggs as chickens do. The eggs get funneled into a dispenser into a dispenser which shoots the egg out. The small chicks 
hatch into this slab which is on on top of a hopper again when they grow up they burn into the lava drops usually fall down through the through the slab i say usually because there's an off chance that it will actually jump up and get burned by the lava as well but seeing as this is fully automated i don't really care that much about it because there's always a couple of chicks in there then the drops get funneled right here and that's where you get the drops and as i said this is chicken and it's two children right a chicken right yes okay so updating on things that i haven't shown um in the video was my diamond pickaxe was running very low and I only had two other I have an egg. I only had two other diamonds, so I quickly repaired it. I tried to go look for some more diamonds, but well that didn't really work out well. I actually enter uh, went down the cave system again and I ended up like right below this. The caves were running running right below these this chicken cooker that that's where the zombie noises were coming from before and when I resurfaced I had a couple of um, what are you, pillagers yeah pillagers I had a couple of pillagers attacking me so I killed them I took their banner as well it's in the chest somewhere but I think that's giving me some bad l bad luck right now <laughs> uh, oh well we'll see it's uh it's, it, w it was good fun, you know, it was good fun. Well, not for them, because I killed them, but for me, it, it definitely was good fun. Anyways, I am happy with uh, what I've accomplished today. Um, the base is starting to look good. I have a chicken cooker. I'm probably going to do something similar for the cows and the pigs right over here. So that's like just build a pen to keep a couple and an actual farm behind it for well the drops the food and stuff but for next episode i'm sorry i am really 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 too excited to go to the nether so that that's what what i'm going to do next episode the 1.16 patch is out so i am going to make use of that i am going to gear up make sure that i have enough supplies and i'm going to go explore the nether in the next episode so I hope I will see you in the next episode as well to join me as I go to the nether. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like or comment or subscribe if you want to see more. But until the next episode, have fun. See ya. Bye bye.